least 10 people have died in India from a rare virus known as Nipah virus. Some are calling it the worst disease no one's ever heard of. Well, let's tell you about Nipah, a rare virus. The virus first emerged in 1999 among pig farmers in Singapore and Malaysia. The virus was first discovered in 1998 in the village of Nipah in Malaysia. So what is the Nipah virus? Nipah virus, NIV, NIF, was first discovered in 1999 following an outbreak of the disease in pig and pupil Malaysia and Singapore. This outbreak resulted in nearly 300 human cases and more than 100 deaths and caused a substantial economic impact at more than 1 million pigs were killed to help control the outbreak. While there have been no other known outbreaks of NIF in Malaysia and Singapore since 1999, outbreaks have recorded almost annually in some parts of Asia since then. Primarily, primarily in Bangladesh and India, the virus has been shown to spread from person to person in these outbreaks, raising concern about the potential for NIF to cause a global pandemic. NIF is a member of the family Paramysophiridae genus Hanipa virus. It is a zoonotic virus, meaning that it initially spreads between animals and people. The animal host reservoir for NIF is the fruit bat genus Theropus also known as the flying fox. Given the NIF is genetically related to the Hendra virus, another Hanipa virus known to be carried by bats. Bat species were quickly singled out for investigation and flying fox were subsequently identified as the reservoir. Nipah virus is a member of the family Perimaxiovridae genus Hanipa virus. Nipah virus is a zoonotic virus which is transmitted from animals such as bats or pigs to humans and can also be transmitted through contaminated food or directly between people. Uh, in infected people, it causes a range of illness from acetomitic subclinical infection to acute respiratory illness and fatal encephalitis. Although Nipah has caused only a few known outbreaks in Asia, it infects a wide range of animals and causes several diseases and death in people making it a public concern. The virus has been shown to spread from person to person in these outbreaks, raising concerns about the potential for Nipah virus to cause a global pandemic with death occurring in 40% to 70% of those infected documented outbreaks in between 1998 and 2018. Infected fruit bats can spread the disease to people or other animals such as pigs. People can become infected if they have close contact with an infected animal or its body fluids such as saliva or urine. This initial spread from an animal to a person is known as a spillover event. When it's spread to people, person to person, spread off of the Nipah virus can also occur. Now we talk about the pathogenicity of Nipah virus. Nipah or Nipah virus this is a genetic infection caused by Nipah virus to Paramasa virus. Belonging to the genus Hanipa virus of the family Permaxaviridae, it is a bisexual level pathogen, which is transmitted by specific type of fruit bats, mainly Protopus spp, which are naturally reservoir hosts. The pathologic findings in the brain of Nipah ecopolitis cases show evidence of necrotizing pericolitis. The main pathology appears to be one spike. Uh, ischemia and infarction caused by vasculity in this thrombosis. Although direct neuronal infection may also play a 
major role in the pathogenesis of the encephalitis. Alveolar hemorrhage, pulmonary edema, and aspiration pneumonia were often encountered in the lungs. This may lead to pneumonia and acute respiratory disease syndrome (ARDS) ultimately. The virus was named the Nipah virus after the village where the patient from whom the virus was first identified lived. The Nipah virus epidemic resulted in more than 100 deaths, mainly of Malaysian hot rising farmers, farmers and the Singaporean shelter house workers. In addition, about 1.1 million pigs were destroyed and the rising hot is still prohibited in some areas. The Nipah virus caused enormous damage, mainly for the Malaysian hot rising business. After the Nipah virus outbreak, Malaysian pig related industry experienced the enormous damage. The wider economic impact of 1998 Nipah outbreak in Malaysia was estimated at 582 million US dollar. Even now, exports have not recovered, which means the country has lost one of the major sources of the foreign currency. Nipah virus also affects human health. Infection of Nipah virus can cause mild to severe diseases, including swelling of the brain and potentially death. Symptoms typically appear in 4 until 14 days following exposure to the virus. The illness initially present as 3 until 40 days of fever and headache and often includes signs of respiratory illness, such as cough, sore throat, and difficulty breathing. Symptoms including headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, and dizziness. It also causes the brain. Death of Nipah virus may occur in 14 until 75 percent of cases. There are currently no drugs or vaccine for Nipah virus infection, although World Health Organization (WHO) has identified Nipah as a priority disease for the WHO Research and Development Group. This is the part where I will explain what the government sections are in dealing with this outbreak. Did you all know that before this Nipah virus and IV was discovered, the mysterious death that hit Malaysia that time was were thought to be caused by Japanese encephalitis or JE for short, which was carried by mosquitoes. Dr. Chua Kao Bing was the first individual to discover and unravel this Nipah virus. After the discovery of the Nipah virus, what did the government do to deal with or control the Nipah virus from spreading more widely? Well, these are some of the actions taken by the government. One, the government mobilized the military and other law enforcers to Sungai Nipah and Bukit Pelando. Two, the government has also ordered that more than a million pigs must be eradicated in Sungai Nipah and Bukit Pelando Negeri Sembilan. A giant grave is dug and pigs are shot and put in the grave. 3. The government also gave permission to get international help to learn more about this virus. 4. Increased animal and human surveillance in areas where NIV is known to exist. 5. Improved tools for early virus detections in communities and livestock. 6. Reinforced protocols for healthcare monitoring of standard infections control practices to prevent person-to-person -person transmission. Last but not least, 7. Increase awareness of the signs, symptoms and risk of NIV in populations at higher risk due to geographical location. Contact with fruit bats or items contaminated by fruit bats. Contact with pigs or animals that can come into contact with fruit bats. Work in a healthcare setting or as a caregiver for a person infected with NIV.